probably never heard that two equals one, but it's actually a real thing. No, it's not. We'll start off by saying A equals B. And then we'll multiply both sides of our equation by A. On our left-hand side, we'll have A squared equals AB. Next off, we're going to subtract B squared off both sides. So we'll have A squared minus B squared. And that will be equal to AB minus B squared. Now, if we want to factor both sides of our equation, on the left-hand side, we have what's called a difference of squares. And so we can have this as a plus b times a minus b. And on the right-hand side, we have a b term common, so we'll take that out on we'll b times a minus b. And now let's divide both sides of our equation by a minus b. On the left-hand side, this a minus b will cancel out, so we'll have a plus b. And that will be equal to just b because this will cancel out with our denominator. So a plus b equals b. Hmm. If a equals 1, then b will also equal 1. So this must mean that 2 equals 1. Now, is that right? Of course not. And the reason is right here. We just divided by a minus b. But right here it says that a equals b. And that must mean that a minus b equals 0. And you're not allowed to divide by 0. 